Hello, this is Nate Adams. I'm the founder of Energy Smart Home Performance. And right now, you're probably wondering why on earth should you hire Energy Smart? Oh, and what the heck do we actually do? Those are great questions. And here's what we do. We fix your house. By the time we're done, it will be comfier, healthier, longer lasting, and much cheaper to operate. Here's what we fix or substantially improve. Never expect perfection. This is not a world of perfection. But we can substantially improve any rooms in your home that are too cold or too hot, like living rooms, second floors, nurseries, master bedroom, you name it. We can tackle icicles, mold and mildew, indoor asthma and allergies, believe it or not. And of course, high bills, particularly if you have propane or fuel oil. We can also work remotely as well as locally. Check out our website for more things that we can tackle. Look at the problems we can help with page. Here's the thing that makes us very, very different from everyone else. We solve problems at their root. We don't treat symptoms, we treat causes. How do we do this? We have a four-step process. We define the problem, we diagnose the causes, we develop plans and we deliver solutions. We are diagnosticians. Now, most people are going to think, why on earth do I want to pay for a diagnosis? So let's look at a couple of situations, tell some stories. You've probably heard the adage that the failure to plan is planning to fail. Let's talk about attic mold as one example of this. Take a look at this attic. You can see all the green stuff going on here. This is a terrible, terrible mold problem uh, in a client home. And when it comes to attic mold, attic ventilation always gets blamed. But let's take a step back. What's the root of the problem? The root of the problem is moisture that can't get out of the attic. Should we be worrying about getting that moisture out? Or should we be worried about stopping the moisture from getting into the attic? The moisture in the attic is the root cause, so how do we deal with that? Attic mold is almost always caused by moisture from inside the house. Typically, an attic uh, got insulated, and what that does, that reduces the temperature in the attic. Cold air can't hold as much moisture so the warm, moist air that sneaks up into the attic from inside the house condenses on the roof deck, and then it becomes mold. So uh, in this case, this is a home that was recently insulated, didn't have an attic moisture problem before, but now the temperature is lower in the attic, there's a mold problem. Here's the deal. If you just get insulation and you don't worry about air sealing, um, that is very likely an eight to ten thousand dollar mistake by the time you're done. So uh, you have to do remediation. That's anywhere between two and five thousand dollars. You need to remove the insulation. Oh, and that could be worse for the remediation too. That's typical numbers. Um, removing the insulation routinely costs about double what putting it in the first place does. Air sealing needs to be done, and good air sealing is not super cheap. And then, of course, you have to reinstall the insulation. And then the thing that really stinks is we see people do this again. They'll remediate the mold, not solve the root problem, and five years down the road have another moldy roof deck, possibly need to replace the roof, which is a very expensive, that's another $10,000 routinely or more. Um, that's, a, that's another very expensive mistake, all because you didn't deal with the root cause. That was failure to plan. It's also a failure to understand interactions. There's a lot of different things going on in the house, and it's moisture from inside the house that's causing a problem like mold in the attic. Let's talk about another failure, fixing a cold room. So typically this is done with either insulation or a new furnace. So we'll talk about both. Now, say you want to warm up the house by adding insulation. This seems logical. Uh, so this is like putting a thicker coat on your house. Uh, so if you put a thicker coat on, your body doesn't have to work as hard to keep you warm. Same thing happens with your furnace. Now this is a very bad thing when you're talking about rooms that are further from the furnace because now that furnace isn't going to run as long 
and then those rooms that are typically cold and at the end of the run are not going to get as much heat as they did before and they're likely to actually get colder. We actually wrote about this in April of 2014 uh, with a, a case study on insulation failure. So take a look at that post. Oops. Now here's another typical thing that happens. Um, you put a new furnace in trying to fix that cold room. Routinely those things are too big. When those are too big, you get big temp swings. And the same problem that I just mentioned, the rooms at the end of the runs never warm up. And quite often, the uh, HVAC contractor will put a larger furnace in than, than what was there before. And typically, furnaces that are in homes are anywhere between two and three times larger than they need to be. So there's always going to be cold room problems. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Because we like to measure, we like to track, we like to see what's going on. So sadly, this is actually my house. In fact, this is my daughter's room. Take a look at the temperature going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. When there's swings this big, our bodies can feel it and we feel uncomfortable. Um, this is a bad thing. You want it to be very, very even in temperature and that requires uh, some planning. Here is an actual client home. In fact, this is a heat pump which is typically not considered something that works well in cold climates. Well, I beg to differ. Take a look at how even the temperature is in here. Now this particular client, uh, the, the lady of the house, always, always wore a coat inside the house in the winter. And she said for the first time she took her coat off because their home is comfortable. So they don't have any cold rooms in their house anymore. And also take a look at the date on this report. Uh, this is January in Cleveland, Ohio. It is not warm outside. So here's the curse. You just bought a new furnace and air conditioner. That's an eight to ten thousand dollar mistake to replace those correctly. And uh, if you insulated your attic in the process and you caused a mold problem, that's another eight to ten thousand dollar mistake. So you could be talking twenty thousand dollars in mistakes by not doing some diagnosis. So how do you fix it? said it a few times already, you plan. Now, here's how we need to look at this. Our bodies are a system of systems. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So we have lungs, heart, brains, uh, eyesight, skin. There's all kinds of things that are interacting. This is only a handful of the systems. But if you go to the doctor and he prescribes you something, the odds are it's going to have a side effect and it's going to affect one of these other systems. The same thing happens in our homes because they are a system of systems. So you've got your walls, there's the roof, there's the insulation, there's how tight the house is, there's the plumbing, the electric system, the ductwork, the furnace and the air conditioner, and there's more beyond this. All of these systems work together, and if you change one, you change something else. So who considers the interactions that are going on between all these things? Is it the heating and air guy? Is it the insulation guy? Is it the electrician? Is it the plumber? Is it your mason? Or maybe is it the roofer? Nope, it is none of those guys. Nobody considers interactions. So who does? We do. At Energy Smart, we are building scientists. This is what we do. We consider interactions. We ask questions. We measure. We consider your wants. We consider your home's needs every house is different and every client is different. We consider your health. We develop tailored plans to solve the problems that you want solved. We tell you how and why those plans will work. Oh, and we can deliver our solutions too, although that's an extra cost. So how do we do this? Every problem has the same process and we found that if you skip a step and miss something, you fail. So we apply the same process to everything. And it's the same one that we discussed earlier. So we define the problem, we diagnose the causes, we develop plans, and we deliver solutions. Uh, here's how that actually happens. There's three steps to our process. So the first step is an initial consultation. This is where we define the problem. The second step is our comprehensive planning process. This includes an energy audit, but it's far more than that. We diagnose the house and we develop plans in this stage. The third step 
is the project management. It's the actual execution. This is where we deliver the results that we promised. So there you are. We define, diagnose, develop, and deliver. By the way, we're not contractors, in case you were wondering, as everyone does. We used to be installation contractors. We're not anymore. We are your consultants. We work for your interests. We are completely independent. And we remain independent and run your project so that the results that you are looking for actually show up. And we track after the fact to see what's going on, as you just saw earlier with a, a, a client picture there. So that is why in the world you should hire Energy Smart Home Performance and pay for diagnosis and fix your problems. So what do I do now? If you're still here, either you're stunned by the rapidity of my speech or you're actually interested. So what do you do next? Please don't pick up the phone. It's not that time yet. What you want to do is go watch some more videos or do a bunch of reading on the website. Start with the main tabs. Try the science and problems we can help with or go play around on the blog. If you aren't willing to read at least five pages on this website, you're not going to stick with us. We aren't the one for you. That's okay. This is a relationship. Our clients, we keep in touch with. We want to know what's going on. This is not a one-hit wonder thing. You will hear from us again. So uh, do some homework up front. So when you're ready and you're sure that we're the one to help you solve all of your problems, except for the ones, of course, that require a couch, fill out our questionnaire. We'll talk more about that in a second, but here's the two paths that you can choose as far as actually moving forward. And the uh, questionnaire will show you these. So you can go straight to the comprehensive planning process. So uh, you, you just skip straight forward. This is faster and it costs a little bit less doing it this way. So by doing this, we are going to define, diagnose, and develop. So we're going to get the first three steps out of the way simultaneously. And this is really the better way to go because you're going to be much more engaged in the questions that we ask you. Now, the other way you can go, though, if you are just a little unsure and you want to try this out, we offer initial consultations. So this is where we define the problem. We will ask you a whole bunch of questions trying to understand what it is in your house you are trying to solve. We will take a look at your energy bills and see if they are unreasonably high and give you an idea of where you stand on that. We'll educate you about the process that we do and the science that's underneath everything that we do. And most importantly, we will run a blower door test, which finds out how much your house leaks. And air leakage is absolutely critical. If there's only one number we can know, we want to know that number about your house because it's the largest driver of energy use, and comfort problems, and oftentimes moisture problems and indoor quality problems as well. It's a very, very important thing, and it's part of the initial consultation. Now, if you go through that, uh, the process rather than going straight to it, we can apply part of the fee from the initial consultation towards the comprehensive planning process. But it all starts with the questionnaire. It's at the top right of every page on the website. Oh, and do some homework. We're not your usual contractor. You can tell that by now. You don't want us to be. And why? Because we actually deliver results.